Hello, my name is Russell Bent. I'm from the Solis National Laboratory, and today I'm going to be discussing gas models, optimization for natural gas systems in Julia. This work is motivated by the observation that critical infrastructure is the lifeblood of modern society. This includes power grids that transport electricity, pipelines that transport natural gas, petroleum and water, and cables that transport communication and information. Specifically, natural gas is used to heat homes, run industrial processes, and generate electricity. Increasingly, designing and controlling and operating these systems has become difficult from a computational standpoint. The main challenge, or one of the main challenges, is that the number of ways a natural gas system can be formulated or modeled has grown quite significantly in the last several years. This has made it very difficult for practitioners to determine and evaluate what is the best approach to solve a given natural gas problem. Now, our approach, based on the observation that we believe Julia and the Julia package jump, are natural software environments to develop a general computational framework for uh, uh, doing extensible implementations of natural gas formulations to allow us to do different comparisons and contrasting of, of different uh, uh, emerging problems uh, and do mix and match modeling uh, of different components of how you formulate a natural gas system. And this really is the essence of gas models, um, this Julia package. Now, considering an example here, let's look at the network design problem. This is where you're looking to design a natural gas system to meet uh, either new or existing demand. Um, there's multiple ways to formulate this problem. In particular, there's multiple ways you can formulate the physics. This is basically the, what governs uh, how much flow actually uh, travels down a particular pipeline. This is known as the Weymouth equations. Um, you can multiple uh, model using an absolute value um, or using uh, discrete variables to model the directionality of flow. The details um, aren't important at this particular stage. But the idea is we'd like to have an abstraction that's unaware of the exact details of this formulation, but is able to, to basically kind of declare what is the core aspects of the problem in terms of what are the variables, um, what are the different types of constraints in terms of engineering or physics, um, and actually what is the objective here, which is to minimize the cost of expanding this particular network. And the idea here is that we want the user to be able to declare that they want to run a network expansion problem on a specific input file uh, for a specific formulation using a specific solver, only using this abstraction, which basically knows which of the formulations to, to dispatch on, depending on which of these parameters the user actually provides. Now, this has been highly successful, and this is one of the examples of some of the results here. This is a, a system from the acad uh, academic literature where we're looking to expand to meet this demand in this fictitious network, um, looking at how uh, uh, one of the formulations uh, matches up with a second formulation, the, the DWP and the CRDWP. And we can compare things like the CPU time it takes to solve the problem, the quality of the solution, um, and, and, and its objective value gap. And this allows us to do this sort of apples to apples comparison of different formulations to understand which is the right formulation for this particular, uh, particular problem. And I think this is really the, the main value um, of this uh, software system.